Sticker owner's mission for decades has been to do nothing but bring joy, some hope, and some optimism to those who love the arts. But an ongoing legal fight with the landlord means that the curtain is going to have to come down in the artisan theater. All new at 5 o'clock are Don White taking us behind the scenes of the theater's final production. Amid the hustle and bustle outside North Richland Hills Birdville High School. There we go, fully out. That's pretty. Comes the art of rehearsing the play Anastasia. <laughs> Head out to the audience so they can see this. This was a show that my wife picked out, knowing she wouldn't be here to see it. Richard Blair founded the Artisan Theater in Hearst with his wife Deanne in 2003. She got sick, and we finally discovered it was ovarian cancer. She passed away from that. Recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic made it difficult for the nonprofit community theater to keep the doors open and pay rent to the landlord. We brought in a law firm. They tried to help us to negotiate and come to a terms that we could settle and work with them on it because we'd fallen two months behind in our rent. Those with the theater say they showed up in mid-March and they found these doors locked. Almost five months later, it is still locked with all of the theater's belongings inside. A benefit concert in April raised $25,000, but that's not enough to stay open. Everyone's a writer. Artisan Theater executive producer Renee Norris has been touched by the community support. Closing the theater, it's the end of an era, but um, there's just something so special about holding on to the memories that were shared for 21 years. Blair gave us this letter from the landlord saying he owes $58,000 in rent and everything inside, including the costumes, will be auctioned off to pay for it. We have over 150,000 costume pieces, the largest that I know of in Texas in one place. Boils down to... As the lights dim, these performers get ready for their final curtain call, thankful for the memories the Artisan Theater gave them. In Tarrant County, Dawn White, CBS News, Texas. We did reach out to the landlord, by the way, for comment and their side of the story, but we haven't heard back. You can, though, if you'd like, watch Artisan Theater's final performance. It'll happen at 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Doors are still closed at the Artisan, so they'll do it at the Birdville High School. The actors and those behind the scenes will have a new home, they hope, in Tarrant County at Stand Performing Arts.